inside that building and even the massive dinosaur atrium. So on the outside, the soundstage kind of looks like a warehouse, but on the inside, it's like a blank canvas for filmmakers and TV shows to create any kind of world they want in a totally controlled environment. Uh, one TV show that filmed on our lawn for many, many years, they recently wrapped up a very long, successful run, was CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. Where are my CSI fans at? Hey, hey fans, so you know the show in 11 of our sound stages. It was a big production. And after the Who's were finished on the front lot, we moved them out here to the back lot. Unfortunately, we had to move them in right next door to a psycho. Just an issue of, you know, real estate space. We had to move the Who's in right next door to Norman Bates. Yes, that's Norman right there. Absolutely heinous. I'm sorry you guys have to see this. I can't believe he's doing this in the daytime, to be perfectly frank. You weren't always such a poor planner, nor. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's pump the brakes, guy. Why'd you go after car four? I don't know any of those people. There won't be a paper trail. Go nuts. Ooh, that was close, car one. still giving us the stink eye? Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm not going to look. Now, coming up on the left-hand side is the Psycho House. It's the real house from the film. An amazing piece of film history. And just beyond the Psycho House, you're going to see one of the largest sets in film history. It's called the Crash Set. It's from the film War of the World. Oh, no, guys, I'm getting something from the FBI. Look, this might be more serious than I thought. What just happened? This is a secure line. Who are you? 